Hey everyone, Mr. Newman here. Today we're going to compare functions and we're going to do this when they're represented algebraically, that's using an equation. Graphically, that's on a graph. Numerically in tables, that's when you have a table. And with the verbal description. And we need to be able to compare between different functions even though they have different representations. So, let's read this first one. The Metropolitan Zoo recently celebrated the birth of two new baby pandas. Oh, I love pandas. Well, Mochi, the panda cub, has been measured and weighed each week since she was born, and here is her weight. And then Mochi's brother, Kappa, his weight is charted on this graph. So let's answer some of these questions. Which panda was heavier when they were born? Well, when they were born means when the weeks is equal to zero. That's when they were born. So let's look at each of these. Here, Mochi, when weeks is zero, the, his weight, or her weight, was one. And when Kappa was born, the time in weeks is zero. That right there is at two, because it's halfway between zero and four. So Mochi was one pound, Kappa was two pounds, so Kappa was the heavier panda. You see how I wrote down my work below? I need you guys to do that for each problem like this. Now, which panda is growing faster? This is a rate of change problem, so I need to calculate the rate of change of Kappa's weight and of Mochi's weight. Let's start with Mochi. Mochi, the way you're going to calculate rate of change is delta y divided by delta x. In other words, change in y divided by change in x. If you have a table, this is always the change in the y value. So going from 1 to 4, the change is plus 4. Divided by the change in the x value. Going from 0 to 1, the change is plus 1. We could do this on any of these, but we would get the same two numbers, or at least the same ratio. And so positive 4 the change in y divided by positive 1, the change in x, gives us 4. So Mochi is changing at 4 pounds per week. For Kappa, on a graph, the way we can see this, we have a few options. If you're scared of graphs and really want to go back and make a table, we could just write down a table of all the x and y values and do the exact same thing we just did by figuring out how much it's going up by. But let me show you how, so you don't have to do that, what it looks like on a graph. When we go to the right, I need to get back to my point, I go up three. So on this graph, to get to the next point, we go right one and up three. The change in y, oh, how did I know it was three? Well, it's halfway between that six mark and halfway between six and four is five. So I know from two to five, that's going up three. Well, delta y, change in y, is just going up and down on the graph and change in x because the x-axis is horizontal. That means going left and right on the graph. So our change in y is up 3 and the change in x is right 1. So positive 3 divided by positive 1 is 3. So kappa has a rate of change or is growing at 3 pounds per week. So mochi is the faster grower. This last question, which panda will weigh more at 5 weeks? It would be nice if they had that on the table, but they don't. So we can figure it out. Well, let's just continue the table. So after three is four, and after four weeks is five weeks. I know those weeks are going up by one each time while the weight goes up by four each time. So if I add plus four to 13, that's 17. If I add plus four to that, that is 21. So I know that at five weeks, Mochi will weigh 21 pounds. Doing the same thing over here on the graph means going right and then up by the same amount as we have been. So every, remember, every time I go right, one, I go up three. And so I'm gonna go right one again, and that means I'm gonna go up three more. Where that lands me is right there at 17. So the, the point is five comma 17. That means the input is five at five weeks. The output, the number of pounds that, mo, uh, that kappa weighs, is 17, so kappa weighs 17 pounds. That means mochi is the heavier panda at five weeks. All right, the next problem says two contestants on The Biggest Loser are Valerie and Oscar. Their weight loss prog progress, progress is shown below. Valerie's weight loss is shown by this function where W is her weight in pounds and T is the time in weeks. Careful, W does not mean weeks because that's T. Oscar's weight loss is tracked in the table. So who weighed more at the beginning of the show? Well, beginning of the show, that's when weeks is zero. That's when the input is zero. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take weeks is zero. Remember, this is T in this case, because they said, told us T is the time in weeks. And I'm gonna plug it into our function here. So W equals 235 minus 2.5 times our input. 
If we're plugging in zero, I'm gonna put a zero right there. Well, zero times 2.5 is zero, and so we're just left with 235. That means that Valerie started off at weighing 235. On the table, it's a little easier to see Oscar's weight at week zero. That is 247. So Oscar weighed more at the beginning of the show. But who is losing weight faster? To answer this, we need again to figure out the rate of change. So I'm gonna draw on Oscar's table. I'm gonna start with Oscar because I, we've done tables and that's a little easier to figure out the rate of change than on an equation, uh, at least at first. I know that every right here you notice from zero to two weeks, that's plus two weeks, while the weight from 247 to 243 is down four, negative four. Now I could have picked any two pairs. I could pick, find these pairs or I could find these pairs. The key important thing is that you use the same pair when doing delta y over delta x. So Oscar, delta y over delta x, his y, that's weight, the change in y is negative four because the weight is going down four, while the change in x is plus two because the number of weeks that passed is two. And so negative four divided by positive two is negative two, and that means that Oscar is losing pounds at two pounds per week, or he's getting negative two pounds per week. Valerie, on the other hand, I, I'm looking at this graph, I'm going, what in the world? Well, or this, ta this uh, equation, let's make a table out of it so we can make sense out of it. So I'm gonna put in this table, I'm gonna have the x value, t, be uh, the input on the left, and I'm gonna have the output, the weight, or the y value on the right, and I'm gonna plug in zero. Well, really, I already plugged in zero, right? When the time is zero, weeks is 235. Let's plug in two, because we did the same thing kind of for Oscar. So when two weeks have passed, what is Valerie's weight? Well, when we plug in two here, 235 minus 2.5 times two, that's 235 minus five, so that's 230. So when T is two, her weight, W, is 230. Now we can find the rate of change. So the change in y, that's minus five, divided by the change in x, that's plus two. So Valerie has a uh, rate of change of negative 2.5. That means that she is losing 2.5 pounds each week. So who's losing weight faster? Well, Valerie is, because she has, but she loses more each week. Now I want you guys to notice something this negative 2.5 was also up here. That's because in this equation, whatever is being multiplied by the variable is the rate of change. And once you learn that, you don't have to make a table anymore. You can just look at an equation and figure out the rate of change. I do need to include the negative because she is losing 2.5 pounds each week. That's very important. All right, let's uh, get this last problem started. I'm gonna have you guys work on it in groups in class. So, uh, there are three trees here. Mr. Rich planted a crop of money trees in his garden. I would love to have money trees, but of course my name's not Mr. Rich. Maybe that's why. So, tree A, tree B, and tree C are the three trees. Make sure you notice tree A, just because it doesn't have a table or a graph, it has a description. It is still one of the options. And the first question is, which of the trees is growing the fastest? Well fastest speed, that's rate of change, so I need to find the rate of change for each of these. I'll do that for the word problem here. He says the first tree was five inches tall when he planted it, and it has grown four inches every month since being planted. Four inches every month means four inches per month. That is the rate of change, four inches per month. So A is growing at four inches each month. For B, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do just like we did before, delta Y over delta X, and the change in y is the height, how much that is going up by, and the change in x is the number of months that are passing. You fill in the rest of that. And the last one, c, that is from the graph here. That's gonna be our slope, or our change in height divided by change in width. So, uh, or rather, I should say rise over run. So delta y is how far up you go, and you guys can figure it out that and calculate that and delta x is how far right you go, so you can figure out that. Notice I just picked any two points, but you should get the same values because it's a line, regardless of which two pairs of points you pick. I just tried to pick the simplest two to calculate. All right, delta y over delta x. Go ahead and answer those two rates of change, one from the table and one from the graph. 
All right, now that you have those answered, let's answer which tree was the tallest when it was first planted. That is when months equals zero. For A, you're just going to have to read it because it says how tall it was. For, but for B and C, you're going to have to figure out when is x equal to zero. And I want you to answer those three all below right there. Lastly, this challenge I'm going to leave to you guys. One of the, uh, one of the trees, it does tell you how, many, or how tall it is after six months. But the other two, you're going to have to figure out on your own and bring that to class and you can work that out with your class. I'm also, classmates, I'm also going to uh, let, leave problem number four to be worked with with your classmates. So that's what we're going to do when we get, first get to class is split into our groups and work on those. Thank you very much for watching.